This is just the cheese. I don't want to like mispronounce anything, so I'm just going to say cheese rice cake. Um, it was super easy to make and I'm going to try it on camera. Okay. This is like a dream come true. They always look so great. So here we go. Oh my gosh. It looks good. Like I'm going to be honest and it smells good. Although I will say before I cooked it, the rice cakes didn't look as white as I thought they would. I wouldn't say they were see-through because definitely not, but they weren't like a solid white color. So they smell kind of, kind of spicy. I know they're not going to be spicy because it says cheese and I can handle spice. So. From what I've been told, and from what I can tell, these are made out of rice, obviously, and they're supposed to be chewy. So, if you guys know me, you know I love rice. So, all right, let's do this. It's kind of sweet tasting. There's a little spice. And it's very chewy. flavor of the actual rice cake I don't think there is one this is so good to the average person this will probably be too spicy for you but on Amazon if you want to just type that in you can try it I'm gonna try eating two at once so chewy what does it remind me of i'm just so confused why the actual like if i was eating just plain rice cake with none of the sauce on it i wouldn't like it would i have these again if i was really hungry <laughs> wow wow 320 calories, a thousand sodium. I'm gonna get something to drink, okay? Welcome to my fridge. A diet A and W. I feel like I am Shane Dawson or something. I think for me, love the texture i love the texture chewy and it's the right type of chewy it's not like a weird type of chewy because i am a texture person i think that's one of the reasons why bananas kind of freak me out rice pudding kind of freaks me out and things like that but i think what is holding me back a little bit is the actual rice cake not having flavor because since it is so chewy you have to like keep it in her mouth for like a little bit longer than usual than like the average bite of rice. So what is happening is the sauces from it are kind of like leaving your mouth because you know how like when you're chewing, you kind of just like naturally subconsciously swallow. So as I'm chewing, the flavors aren't like staying in my mouth. So I'm left with a plain rice cake towards the end of the bite, if that makes sense. I explain things kind of bad, sorry. Okay, you guys, we're gonna do a little eat with me segment because there are some things I wanna talk about. Hopefully I won't forget, but salad. This is the Asian one. I've got a lot of questions of why do you eat on camera? Why do you keep eating on camera? Does it trigger you, et cetera, et cetera.
A lot of people think it would. It does the opposite, actually. When I eat on camera, like when I film Eat With Me's or like mukbangs when the whole video is dedicated to that, I am more aware of the food I'm eating because I'm eating it in front of a camera. When I eat it by myself, I eat faster. I'm usually like watching a movie or something or watching TV or YouTube so I don't focus so much on my food. But when I'm filming a mukbang or like an eat with me, when I eat on camera, like I focus more on it and I absorb it more and I feel like it helps me also eat less. So I know a lot of people like have been curious about that, but yeah, that's what like works for me. So, especially like when I'm trying to eat less or trying to eat healthier. Obviously there has been times where I strictly ate something just for a move bong, but nine times out of 10, it was just a meal that I was already gonna eat. And if anything, move bongs, eat with me's, or little segments like this in my vlogs, help me eat less. It's so crazy, it's so weird, but like, it works for me. So I just wanna like say thank you guys. I feel like maybe people who suffer with like a food addiction or an eating disorder can maybe understand that. Um, I feel like people who fill mukbangs, they eat more than they normally would than obviously in a regular meal. For me, I eat less usually in a mukbang than I do normally because no one's watching me eat but you guys are watching me eat, so I eat less and I'm more in tune with what I'm eating. So I'm gonna stop rambling. So this is kind of like an experiment that we're gonna do together. So there is no skin on these cucumbers, okay? Because for me, the skin makes the cucumber taste gross. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut it obviously. Okay, so the next step is cream cheese. I don't know how this is gonna taste, y'all. Just bear with me. So this cream cheese was never opened before, so I'm just gonna... I have a thing where I have to stir stuff, so, okay. Oh, and here's a random tidbit about what's going on. Where we live, we're not allowed to drink the water. So that's a random tidbit for you guys. I just don't understand. This is why I don't like living in Kentucky. I never heard of it before. So now we're gonna take cream cheese and put it on the cucumber. I don't know how this is gonna pan out, y'all. It kind of looks weird, but you know. No one else uses this cream cheese, by the way. So don't feel like, oh my God, everyone's double dipping. Nah. Okay. We're gonna put it on like so. So I'm just gonna do these, do it to this one for now. But th that's not the end of it. We're going to put bacon. <laughs> you guys are probably like, what? Okay, so the thing was, I wasn't gonna put bacon, I was actually gonna put um, chicken lunch meat, but my chicken lunch meat was bad, that's okay. Um, all right, so one more step, I'm going to add everything but the bagel seasoning. So I feel like for people who don't eat bread or whatever, if you want a sandwich, try it like this that's why I randomly came up with this I was like hmm I'm sure people have done it before but all right let's try it <laughs> I'm really nervous because this is so random it's like a little cucumber boat mm-hmm 
It tastes like, ooh, hold on. What ties it all together is the bacon, honestly. I probably couldn't eat all of this though. I like the bacon on it because it adds that like salt. So we're gonna add another piece. Very low calorie meal because two slices of bacon is only 60 calories. Cream cheese. I'd say I use about two servings. Look at that. Mm. This is good. <laughs> it's low carb, isn't it? Two carbs for the cream cheese. Last I've been told, um, bacon doesn't have carbs. <laughs> Weird. Okay. I'm trying to rush because I think Eric wants to make his breakfast. My recommendation, cut one cucumber into three slices because this is a hefty. Like, I love bagels love bagels but am I if I'm having a meal that I want to be like lower calorie lower carb whatever it may be this is a good option you got your is it cucumbers a fruit because it has seeds what else? <laughs> this is filling too. <laughs> oh, duh. I'm the bad guy. Duh. Do you guys like Billie Eilish? I do. She's glorious. I'm just gonna add it to about half of it because I really don't know if I'm gonna be finishing this. I really think I'm going to call these cucumber boats. If I can get full from this, so can the average Joe.